So this is probably the most important video I could make on this topic. I, when it came up to me, when it came in, into my head uh, about a couple hours ago, uh, I realized that um, this is probably a more important video than any of the other ones I've made on this topic. So all of this is all nonsense unless you know why it matters. So this video is going to be about why it matters to be able to run Windows 11 on older hardware. Because I think I think there's a lot of a lot of comments that I've seen on the videos related to this have been along the lines of, <clears throat> well, everyone should upgrade to Linux or just keep using Windows 10. Um, and uh, so I think we need to answer the question why it matters. And there's a there's a few points to be made here. Um, so my opinion is the most important part about the whole thing is that effectively the length of time that you can run the current OS more or less. Look, I, I know that a lot of us techies have old hardware. I have hardware older than most of you. I have, I have stuff dating back uh, as far as, um, man, I think I have, I think I have hardware going back as, as far as core two quad. Uh, I'd like to get some Pentium 4 hardware just to have it on hand to mess around with. But uh, right now, uh, and, and I'm not saying I would load uh, Windows 11 on Core 2 Quad. I'm just saying I have older hardware. But the, a, a, and and by by determine the age, to most buyers, to or to most users, um, most users don't see what we do. You're, you're like you're only the upper 10 percentile of us. Maybe less. I bet even less cares about more than just, I just want my stuff to work, okay? We we tinker, we play around with stuff, we make things work that aren't supposed to work, we do things you're not supposed to be able to do, okay? That's us, but we aren't the majority of the market. To most people, the, the usability of the computer either ends or, well, it ends when uh, when the current OS is no longer supported, and the final nail in that coffin will be just how long it takes after the final OS is supported before they start having issues. Uh, that could be, you know, six months or it could be two or three years. There's not really any way to know. Um, you know, if I if I remember correctly, the transition from Windows 8 or Windows, well, nobody really, nobody wanted 8, but the transition from 7 to 10, I thought was fairly fast. Um, and the thing is, so then we get to why that matters. That matters because a couple reasons. One, um, the usability of a computer. And, and keep in mind, the majority of, of users are Windows users. I know the Linux users out there like, oh, we get free good, we get cheap good hardware now. So this is great. Seriously, like enough already. I, I've heard it. I've seen hundreds of comments on that. Enough already. The fact is, the majority of users are PC users. That means that when they can no longer run the current OS, and I, I guess we'll take it a step further, and the previous OS is no longer supported for their mainstream productivity applications, they're going to upgrade, and all of that hardware will become zero value to the vast majority of the PC use market. You have a small number of people out there that will cling on to their old hardware with a from my cold dead hands mentality, okay? But that's not the majority of users. The majority of users, when they see that the support is ending, they don't even necessarily know what that means for God's sakes, okay? They see a message that says Windows 10 support is ending mid June or whatever, 2025. And they think, oh my gosh, my computer is, it's going to be dead. I won't be able to use it. I'm going to have to buy a new computer. And they do. Um, a few people are a little more, you know, brain advanced than that. But that's the majority of users. So that effectively determines to the majority of users the lifespan of that hardware. Now that means, as I was getting to a second ago, that the functionality of a piece of hardware being able to run the current OS is infinitely higher than if it cannot, okay? If the only thing that that hardware can do is run a previous OS that is no longer supported, 
or a different OS that nobody who uses Windows hardware really wants to use, there you have it. So that is why it is so important that, uh, and, and I'm not, please, again, I know people are going to take my words out of context. I am not advocating that Microsoft should have to infinitely support hardware. Okay. That's not what I'm advocating here for. Okay. But so here's another point we have to cover. So back in the long, long before times, back when we were, you know, back in the early 2000s, for example, computing technology was advancing at a very fast rate. Okay. The, 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 the hardware that ran Windows XP largely could not run effectively anyway, Windows Vista. Okay. The, you needed next-gen hardware to run that next-gen OS. But about, I don't know, 10 years ago, we got to fourth generation. And at about that point, hardware had advanced to where the, the gains for the normal everyday person's usage have not advanced that much. Okay, now for those of us that are editing videos, doing encoding work, gaming, stuff like that, Yes, there's been major advancements, but for, for the normies who just browse the web, uh, you, you know, write up their Word documents, do their Excel files, to those people, a, a fast computer in, in 20, 2014 is still a fast computer today, uh, barring software issues, malware, viruses, stuff like that. A fresh, uh, a kept fresh Windows install on a 2014 powerful machine can run modern games. Uh, that's my opinion. If you can run modern games on the hardware, then it's not outdated. Sorry, you're not going to convince me otherwise. It's not outdated. It's not outdated if it can run Cyberpunk at medium settings, 1080p, uh, 4790K or or i7 uh, i7 5930K plus a GTX 980 Ti. That build can run modern games at reasonably good levels, enough to make most people happy, okay? So that is why it is so important that we be able to run the current OS on hardware. Anyway, I'm trying to be a little bit unhinged on my rants to keep people uh, engaged, but uh, I hope you guys get something out of this, and I hope this helps you understand why some of us are raving about this, why it's an issue, and why it matters. So anyway, thanks for watching the video.